Minister for Agriculture Damien O'Connor was in Southland last week, gauging the sentiment of farmers dealing with the effects of Mycoplasma bovis. At the Southern Field Days, O'Connor said the first round of milk testing from all producing dairy farms found no signs of the disease. What the 9,000 uh, tests so far, and I think there are about 900 still to be completed, is that there's no uh, sign of Mycoplasma bovis. There are still uh, two other tests that will be discard milk uh, that we hope confirm that uh, we don't have any other Mycoplasma bovis across the country other than that that has been sourced from the two major sources of infection. He said the results meant eradication of the disease was still an option, but couldn't happen without the assistance of farmers, some of whom might not understand the seriousness of the situation. There's a risk that farmers elsewhere in the country are still underestimating um, the significance and the importance of what we're doing here. Uh, I have been, and, and MPI and everyone, farming leaders, um, I've been asking them to emphasise the importance that we all cooperate to firstly do this testing properly, uh, and then secondly, when we hopefully embark upon a programme of eradication, that everyone does what they can. He said the field days gave him the opportunity to hear Southland farmers' concerns and to do what he could to help. That's the value of coming here today. I'm, I'm sure I'll talk with more farmers who have been affected or of course are in the region who are being affected indirectly um, by this. And I, I listen to all of that. We go back um, and take immediate action or ha certainly have immediate discussion on what we can change to improve that. The response so far shows that there are 23 infected properties, 22 in the Lower South Island and one in the Hawke's Bay. 48 farms have been made a restricted place under the Biosecurity Act, 110 farms have been issued notices that they are at high risk, and 1,500 trace farms have either supplied animals to or received animals from infected farms. Sharon Rees, The South Today.